there's been a lot of networking. You can probably pan the camera, camera around and you see there's still people talking in the foyer now. I always think that's one of the most important things about conferences is that you give people the opportunity to establish their own dialogue. So there are, are the official panel debates, but as important is the debates that people have among themselves, the delegates, the people who come along, panelists. Everyone's talking, networking and uh, gazing into their crystal balls and looking at what went wrong, looking at what might go right, looking at, looking at where we need to make representations, where we need to campaign and uh, where we need to strengthen ourselves. It's uh, one of those ongoing processes. I think really it's a way of crystallizing um, new directions, triggering thoughts about possibilities of the future. So for the reader, it's to become aware of the work that's going on within the black publishing world. Um, for the writer, it's about the opportunities that are there and sometimes the challenges because there's a panel on how to get a novel published and that kind of thing. And I think sometimes people have rose tinted ideas about how to how quickly they'll get famous or how quickly they'll get published and how great it's going to be and i think the the conference is important because it just brings the real world to the street it brings it to the average person so they know what's happening in publishing what's happening um in terms of getting agents what's happening in terms of the challenges of selling books um for the publishers etc yeah well i mean from, from the panel I've been on, obviously, um, ebooks and social media. So, um, this is the times we're living in now. So, there is potential after this conference for people to connect um, afterwards. But I think, in terms of the day itself, it's so important that we have these forums and these days where people can come together from around the country. Um, further afield, we've got Kai Miller from Jamaica, um, and I know Dorothy has flown in from New York. Uh, and so we've got London connections so it's really really important that we we all come together in spaces like this not just online and we can dialogue we can um, you know share our stories and you know have a movement really because uh, as we've heard on the first panel people such as um, groups such as Young Identity, Leading Authors um, struggle for money um, a lot of the time so um, in, in combining efforts and, and in building our own movements, then perhaps we can, well, yes, we can definitely move forward and, uh, and, and build, build stronger organisations. I think this, it, this conference is very, very important for a number of reasons. Firstly, because it celebrates black writers, black authors, poets, and it gives them an opportunity to discuss and come together and really kind of fine-tune what's happening for black writers across Britain and the Caribbean and the diaspora. And conflicts like these are very, very important for so many reasons that, because there's no other forum like this. So the Black Writers Conference really is a celebration of literature across the board. Not because it's black writers, but because black writers are engaging in writing and very, you know, we don't really hear that in mainstream conferences. Often we hear about the works of Shakespeare, we hear about present works, but we don't hear about what black British people are doing in terms of writing and their contribution to the writing consortium. So a conference like this is highly important and should always be supported. I think it's basically a meeting of minds. I think the main benefit is young people in particular having their voices heard and all these organisations which work with young people and which work with BME writers and not even just BME writers but other people who might not have their voices heard such as um, working class people, people from council estates. I think it's so important for organisations that work with them to put themselves out there, to have discussions like this and really to um, just get more recognition for the work that they do. The benefit today is that we're gathering information, we are connecting with each other, so it becomes a really strong network and hopefully, because of the new digital world, we can carry on this network and today to me becomes a moment, a precious moment. You know, I'm here in the Zion Centre. This place is just rich with history of positive aspects of African-Caribbean culture, but for everybody's culture, for global culture, and for community culture, and for Lancastrian culture, and for British culture. It's, it's to wake people up. Today is about shaking our own minds up and expanding and gathering new knowledge so we can share it to others and, and, and pass the good word on. There's a lot of benefits to conferences like this. I mean, the most obvious one is that it promotes debate and it promotes people actually speaking about issues that are surrounding the art so that they don't go unheard. Um, 
What Elsa also does, it provides a really good way for people to get networking. I mean, a lot of people who come to these conferences, um, they have grievances that they have related to the industry about not being able to break through or not knowing where to go or who to speak to. But this is these kind of conferences, they bring a lot of people together, people who may not on an everyday um, level see or meet each other because of different lifestyle choices or professions or careers, although they're all related in some way, shape or form, it kind of like cuts out a big middle portion of the networking and it makes it easier. Well, um, you know, there's a big, uh, a, a, a big issue about, uh, you know, black writers uh, having a voice and that voice being heard in the... In the, in the publishing community and being presented you know, through books and other forms. So yes, it was very interesting to talk about it and I think it's, um, you know, uh, when you talk to individuals about what they get from it, the benefits are, I think, you know, really, really big and it's interesting for all the ideas to get together and to find out what people are thinking, what their hopes are and how they hope to achieve them. I think the benefits are that the writers from around the northwest and myself I'm from Bristol and the writers from London I think it creates a broad community of writers and networks which really enhances the position and status of black writers in this country and helps to move the development of black writing forward and again for the community in Manchester it's been a long time since I've been here and actually seeing the developments around the Zion Centre and just realising the potential for the networks and the connections of me being in the South West, knowing that there's connections I can make in Manchester are really beneficial. It's hugely beneficial. I think one of the, the things that can happen if you're a writer is that you exist very much in your own little vacuum. Um, you don't talk to other writers. And the thing about having a black writers conference is um, that we can get together and share some of our experiences, both of the publication process, but also of not being published. And of course that, that happens for a whole variety of reasons. Um, something that I really appreciate about doing this as someone who works at um, you know, Manchester Met is that but um, I don't want to exist in a little ivory tower, I want to do things that are also about making links within communities in Manchester and I've been really grateful for the opportunity to do that today. Well I think the importance of, of writing and representing stories, uh, narratives from underrepresented groups, Asian and African diaspora in the UK, not just stage in Af Asian and African you know, and Caribbean fiction from those home countries. I think that the, the presence in the UK and stories around diaspora in the UK are, are underrepresented. Uh, they're really important for um, for everybody to understand, uh, including the, the, the kind of the host community, so-called host community. Um, and uh, I think that people have got a very poor understanding of themselves if they are from those diaspora. I think white people have a poor understanding. They're, we're thrown with loads of stereotypes and um, you know the, the amount of gang stuff that's that's on TV even now the you know series like Tall Boy and so on. I think that the nice thing about writers um, is that they can get under the skin and represent things or try and represent things in a, in a much more interesting and deeper way. Um, and I think that the, the enormous benefit is that um, is that people need those stories? Those stories are the source for, you know, end up being the source for t TV shows and theatres and all kinds of stuff. So, really, um, improving and strengthening the sector of black writing is absolutely vital.